All right, y'all, you already know what time it is. I'm back again with another video. It's your boy, Moody Star. I'm out here taking a, uh, I'm actually chilling, sitting outside. Um, and I got Mila out here in the background and stuff. So, of course, I'm gonna talk to you guys like it's a FaceTime. It's time to get charged up, bro. We gotta get charged up. We have to maintain the level of a high frequency. Um, that guy level is, it's amazing, bro. It's amazing to be in, bro, at all times. Um, question. This is a serious question. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are in the right type of vibration. Get into the bag. And of course, staying consistent, man. Shout out to all the new subscribers, by the way. And um, I noticed, bro, like yesterday, I went crazy, bro. I dropped four videos. Well, I dropped three videos and then I did the nightcap. Um, one of my uh, loyal subs, bro, I actually felt a little bad for him, bro, because he's, he always has like a, a great message to add to the video. And then I think that last video, he was just like, bro, I don't got, I don't, I don't have the energy to, to comment, but you did bring up some solid points. You feel me? You put, you put points together and these are the types of females we do need to kind of be aware of and stuff. So if you missed that video, go ahead and check that out. But, uh, outside of that, bro, really, you going to take a, you going to use the bathroom right next to me. She really was about to take a piss right next to me, blood. Mila, where you at, man? I got to keep my eyes on you. You can't listen. She be trying to go out there in the front. Do you got bird shit on your on your? What the fuck? Did, what the hell? What did you get into? All right, Miller, go go outside and enjoy the outdoors, bro. Because you're gonna be inside most of the time. But yeah, man. So, you know, uh, as we continue the journey, bro. Um, today. What is on the t on the docket today? Okay, today I got school, and um, pretty much what else? Um, I'm just waiting until I start like my new job and shit. So there are some videos that I do want to drop today, bro. But I don't want to like overwhelm y'all and drop too much. You feel me? I really don't. I do want to keep keep the uh, element of being missed. You know what I'm saying? Because that is huge. That's a huge part of um, you know doing content and you know, content creating and things of that nature. Mila. What what are you thinking about? Do you ever wonder what goes through an animal's mind when they just be outside doing whatever? Yo, you know the thing about um the thing about how like you know we all kind of move within the matrix is that for the most part it's all about just uh, keeping a solid foundation, right? The solid foundation of, of course, trusting in God. And the solid foundation of you, you know, just doing what you got to do, being high vibrational, going within and doing what you got to do. It's, it's key. It's, it's, uh, it's super, super important. One thing that I notice about all beings on the face of this planet is that we all get charged up by the same type of energy which is and i'm talking about uh this is like humans animals things of that nature when you look at dogs when you look at cats they walk around barefooted the thing about it is that this is why uh they could probably move faster i mean of course they have like a whole their own design or whatnot as far as dogs and cats and just like you know different animals in general but to any land animal that is um you know, walking around more than likely, they don't have, you know, human shoes or anything, anything like that. So they are actually constantly grounding themselves. This is why like they be so connected, bro. This is why like you talk about dogs, they, 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 it seems like, it seems as though they have like a sixth sense for real. It's like they can sense like danger and shit like that. Um, same thing with cats, but cats are a little bit more spiritual. They're a little bit more uh, um, athletic. <laughs> you feel me? They be all over the place and stuff. Hey, Mila, Mila, I, I got to watch her, bro. She already smelling. She trying to go into the front yard. Like, we ain't, we ain't having that today. We is not having that today. Mila, I'm about to put you inside, blood. Like, for real. But, yeah, okay. There she go. But, yeah, man. Um. But pretty much, though, what I realized on the journey is that as I continue my journey, bro, I, and this is, I, let's just put female attraction to the side. Let's put, you know, let, let's just focus in on 
purely going within and being high vibrational, bro. Um, this morning when I woke up, I actually had so much love within my heart, like a lot of love. And I think um, as you guys continue the journey, bro, there's going to be different points and different there's gonna be like different points of you that may be active, uh, more active than other points. So when I'm talking about the points, I'm talking about like chakras. So um, for example, there's guys right now who practice retention and they probably don't, you know, they don't talk about females or they don't be, you know, on the internet like that. But somehow, some way, their root chakra gets activated or their root chakra is like, you know what I'm saying? It's a, uh, oh shit, I just seen a bee. My bad, bro. I just seen a bee go to a flower, and I seen some dust or whatever the fuck come off. That I ain't never seen that shit before. You'd be surprised what you see in Mother Nature, dog. You just sit outside and watch how God be working. It should be interesting as hell. See? I don't know if y'all can see it. See that bee right there? But, uh, yeah, so ever so often there's going to be different spikes so you might have a spike in your throat chakra meaning like um the more electricity you have and the more like you you know kind of put your energy put your mind towards like a specific area in your body um it's going to intensify so i noticed this morning my heart chakra between it was crazy dog because you know every guy you know if you're a normal guy, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? And if you are actually healthy and if you're not doing shit, if you're not wasting your seed and shit like that, when you wake up in the morning, niggas be saluting. And that's actually a good sign. You know, sometimes guys be like, oh, I feel bad for, for, salute, for saluting in the morning. Like, bro, nah, it's like, you feel me? That they, they call it that for, for a reason, though, you feel me? But um, between the hours of, I think it's, I forgot, I gotta look that up. Um, and I'll probably drop another video to verify the, these uh the hours but between the hours of like five o'clock and 11 a.m is the um you'll you will pretty much have a spike in testosterone so when you wake up in the morning this is why like a lot of guys you know they wake up in the morning and females they be horny too they be trying to have morning sex and shit because that's that's the spike in your energy you feel me as far as your testosterone as far as your libido goes so ever so often um, you know, you might wake up with the overly active root chakra or, or, or overly active, uh, you know, heart chakra. Like me, it was love today for some reason, because it's been a minute since I even really talked to females like that, uh, sent out good morning text messages or anything. Bro, today I woke up, I felt like I was, I was in love. I mean, yeah, I have self-love for myself, but I wanted to, I wanted to express that. I wanted to share that. And, um... I'm not gonna lie, for the most part, what I do is, uh, if anything, um, I have I have different ways of showing love, in particular to, to to women, you feel me? Like, in particular to women, like, for some reason, I woke up and I, I don't know, like, I was just ready to, I was just ready to give, uh, bro, we got a lot of insects and flies and all type of shit flying around out here. Yeah, bro, I wanted to give my creative energy to a specific, uh, you know, woman who's worthy, but shit, I ain't gonna hold you. Um, you know, for the most part, any female that I do like right now, like they're out doing their own thing. And I think that's what you guys have to realize. Like sometimes women, they, they, they won't even fuck with you just because the attraction level or anything you got to take into consideration that some people really do be working on themselves too. women do be working on themselves as well or they just need time to you know do what they got to do so i don't ever i don't ever take it personal but at the same time that's just the type of energy that i'm in dog like i i like that's what i noticed like shit for the right female i'm talking about if her energy was right i'm talking about if she was going with them being high vibrational and whatnot like bro like i don't know i feel like um yeah just one day uh yeah man i would really want to give her what she deserves you feel me and which is either you know um a great session or shit even better like a whole human being like you feel me but uh you know that's what happens when you be in a love energy sometimes love can kind of uh 
it covers all it covers like all flaws or anything like that so you know um i'm glad that i have the awareness to be like okay cool like yeah i may be feeling all lovey-dovey and shit today but you know what I'm saying keep that in check you know keep a balance with that you know what i'm saying you probably might even feel like that when you are in a relationship and you have a girlfriend or whatnot um you might be in your heart chakra while she might be um, and her root chakra worrying about how she's going to pay these bills or how she's going to do this or how she's going to do that. So just keep in mind as you are uh, continuing the journey, there will be days. There will be days, um, you know what I'm saying? You might be in your uh, crown chakra or you might be in your third eye. You know, you talk about those higher levels of um, your of, of your like being. Um, that's usually when you have a lot of lucid dreams having a lot of visions, seeing spirits at the corner of your eyes. Like for me, I used to think it was my hair. Like if I seen something in the corner of my eyes, I'd be like, the fuck was that? Is, was that my hair or whatnot? So one time I decided to put my shit back and just be like, nah, bro, like we gonna catch these motherfuckers. Cause even though we can't really see them with our eyes, bro, we can see them. We can see them. <laughs> we, we can, but like, um, they do a, those entities that are very, very fast and, and spiritual and stuff. They be, it's like you could catch them slipping, bro. But it's like once you focus in, once they, basically once they understand that they can, uh, you, uh, you can see them and whatnot, um, they have a great way of like, you know, kind of like disappearing and shit. It's like whatever you focus on with your eyes, for some reason that shit disappears. You feel me? But, um, that's just kind of like tapping into like your sixth sense and shit like that. But like, um, yeah, man. So yeah, again, there's levels to it when you are on the retention journey and there will just be days that you will feel deeply, deeply in love and not, and not in particular to a specific female, but you know, you just have like a lot of love flowing, overflowing throughout your being and stuff. And that's, that's, I'm not gonna lie. That's a good energy to be in, bro. That's a great energy to be in, having love in your heart, but then also still having a level of discernment and having a level of like, nigga, you're not going to try me. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have to have a great balance. You feel me? So that's where I'm at right now. Um, yesterday, uh, y'all seen in the video, I had went to the park. I had got some shots up. I probably might get some shots up again just to stay active, just to stay consistent maybe when i do record this time i can have the audio while i'm shooting around we'll see if y'all mess with that video or y'all y'all mess with that with that type of style let me know and i'll continue to keep doing that but um yeah man for the most part yeah this is just an sr update just letting you guys know uh you know what type of type of vibes i'm in today um you want to go inside you too hot all right she don't ever walk near the door. She's like, bro, I'm tired. Bro. Like, I'm hungry. Let me get some water. All right, bye. So, yeah, with that being said, man, uh, yeah, continue the journey and just keep doing what you got to do in the meantime. And realize, like, peep where your mood at. Peep where your energy is at. You know what I'm saying? Um, two days ago, I know... Two days ago, I know when I woke up, I was more so in like survival mode. So that would be the root chakra. You feel me? Um, yesterday, I know when I shit, I ain't gonna hold you. Yesterday, all day, I was definitely in my solar plex. I was definitely in my bag, just being creative and just, you know, what I'm saying, just utilizing my energy, energy the right way it needs to be utilized. And um, yeah, bro, no complaints, man. No complaints or nothing, man. The single life not really uh you know not really being connected to anyone bro it's at first i thought damn bro like you know what i'm saying this shit gonna be lonely i'm gonna be bored like damn i ain't got no chick to roll over to and just crazy as fuck like damn i want the bitch to give me this and give me that da, 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 da. why are you calling her a bitch is you know what i'm saying um it was all of that that i sometimes feel here and there but then again i realized like well damn why did I get here in the first place? Well, I got here in the first place because I had a lot of relationships that just didn't work. I had a lot of uh, mistakes that I made in the past with different women. Um, and because I made so much mistakes, I have to recuperate. I need to step back. I need to take a step back, make sure that 
you know, everything is aligned within my life because God is God is telling me that, yo, you know, he done pressed the first red button. You feel me? There's another red button that's probably going to have to be pressed. And of course, we got OJ popping up now. It's a party. It, why she look like a lion from here? That big, she look big as hell, huh? But she's really small. She's really small compared to uh, Mila. Look, 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 look. She literally waited until she she was she she be right there watching her on the other side of the gate, just like yo, bro, like just chill. But yeah, man, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know what I'm saying uh, thoughts sometimes that one that that would go through one's mind when we talk about uh, continuing the journey, bro. The longer you are on the journey, the more you're gonna realize that you were never alone in the first place, and you have more than enough um, energy to kind of like exist by yourself like god forbid let's say god said you know what um it wasn't in the cards for you to have a family and stuff it wasn't in the cards for you to have a thousand females um if god was to say yo can you live on the face of this earth and um not trying to be boring or anything like that but you know if god was like yo shit you want to just go into monk mode bruh and you're going to have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Just be happy with life. Like, try to think about it, bro. Try to imagine life without the things that we all chase, the things that we all want, you know what I'm saying? Um, companionship. Um, uh, over, uh, like, a lot of money, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just certain things like that. Can you still coexist? Can you still survive? Can you still live? Can you still be happy with what God gives you? You feel me? Outside of the surface level stuff that most people go for. That's how I try to think, bro. Because a lot of these things, they're going to come and they're going to go. Money's going to come and it's going to go. Uh, you know, even if you get your wife after so many years, one of y'all got to kick the bucket first. Or one of y'all probably going to, you know, say, you know what, let's get a, get a divorce. It really depends. Um, but basically, though, I always try to figure out, I'm like, yo, if I didn't have this, if I didn't have this YouTube channel, if I didn't have OJ, if I didn't have anything, how can I still be happy? How can I still find some type of, uh, you know, peace? You feel me? And my peace comes uh, from, you know, just talking to God. God exposes everything to me when I go to sleep. If I want to have like a vision or if I want to have an experience, I really do be having like a whole experience with entities that I don't even really know personally. I probably know them from like a past life experience or some, something like that. Either way, this is the longest I've actually been to myself in a very long time being on monk mode while practicing retention. And I'm not going to lie, this shit is actually fun. I'm happy. I have my peace. I'm not stressing over a female texting me back. I'm not stressing over the fact that she might be active online and, and you know, the little, little stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried. Ain't that right, OJ? Isn't that right, OJ? We not worried about nothing. Girl, put your tail down. What you think this is, huh? She's like, feed me the fuck. I'll feed you later, okay? I'll feed you later, orange juice. I don't know. I think I got to, I, 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 I guess, I got a thing with animals. Animals actually fuck with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, I, can, I think it's always been like that growing up, too. I just never really gravitated to dogs, but dogs fuck with me, too. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, man, um, those are just a couple of things that are on my mind right now, bro, as I continue the journey, bro. Because usually, um, you know, I got, like, you know, female stories and just different things that happen and i do have a lot of stuff that happened in the past and i will bring that up um because you know shit you know what i'm saying Th there was a lot of that time period i did have like a lot of mistakes and i had a lot of simping moments and i had a lot of you know just weak moments of just being overly horny and shit like that but uh you know what the hell did she see she oh she wilding right now but at the end of the day, bro, you got to stay focused. Remember, if you got a spike in energy, just peep where you at, bro. It could be a spike in your root. Um, it could be a spike in um, your sacral chakra. I mean, all areas, bro. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a balance. One day you might be very fucking talkative, you know? And that's the thing about being on retention. It's all about 
the activation, but also the control and the balance. You know what I'm saying? You have that control, you have that balance. Um, you know, everything will be okay. You feel me? And then, you know, shit would just happen. You feel me? So, of course, I'm gonna continue the journey, bro. I'm just like, again, I'm in monk mode. I'm, I feel like I'm on vacation as well. Like, I'm really, really chill. I'm really, really relaxed. I'm not really too stressed about anything like that. And yeah, I'm gonna continue the journey as usual, bro. So, you know, if you resonate with this video, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like, drop it back on the cash to support the team. And if you made it to the end of this video, you the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? You the GOAT. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate your time. I really do appreciate your time, bro. For real, for real. You feel me? Just stopping by, you know what I'm saying? Just having a little quick conversation before before work or, you know, uh, during your lunch break. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to just chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how it is. I know, I, um, you know, working the 9 to 5 and shit. You feel me? Um, you know, so... Without saying too much, man, MGT with the douche, your boy Moody Star. And I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro, y'all. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Be on the lookout for some more videos dropping later on today. I'm gonna try not to drop too many videos because, again, you know, I don't want to uh, overwhelm y'all with all this information and stuff like that. I am eager to let it out, but, you know, I'm going to just be patient today. So maybe maybe I drop another one today and then a nightcap later on. So uh, other than that, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video, bro. Y'all stay blessed, stay up, keep God first. You know what I'm saying? Continue the journey, bro. Remember, you got this. No matter what the hell you're going through, bro, you got this. Uh, keep strong with the faith. Balance out your energy portals within you and you're gonna be good bro i'm definitely see you guys on the next video peace